Hey guys, Chelsea Holmeyer here, the digital dental assistant. Um, I just wanted to go over some of our denture and partial 3D print materials that we use um, and why we like them and don't like them, all that good stuff. Um, first of all, I'll start with, which is my personal favorite, one of my personal favorites, the Preodent Throw Preger um, High Impact Base. It does come in uh, a couple of different colors. I do believe we got the um, original pink here. Um, not super translucent, but a little bit of translucency, which I don't mind. It does pick up a little bit of that gum shade underneath. Different, as we know, 3D printed uh, dentures, the materials just are more translucent than the acrylic materials because the 3D printer is setting them up with a laser compared to a um, cold injection molding type of thing that they would do with a normal denture. So the 3D printed dentures are always just a little more translucent than we're used to. But once you get used to that, I really like it. The Pro 3D High Impact is um, one of the strongest on the markets. Um, you can drop it. I have chucked it across the room. I'm not going to try to roll it over with my tire or anything, but it can take a little bit of abuse from the patient and it is not brittle by any means. So I really like that. Um, another one we have used in the past is the Denture, the Denka Denture Base 2. Um, to be honest, I don't particularly love it. Uh, we had it for a long time just because we are kind of limited in the market now because 3D printing is so new. The stuff really brittle. Um, if it's for just a temporary or an immediate denture, we know we're going to be redoing it, not a problem, but this is definitely not my go-to for um, dentures and partials at this point. My number one go-to for partials would be the Graphi Terahertz Flexible Base. This just, just came out, just got approval. Um, I've been searching on the internet for it for months because let's be real, if we want to 3D print a partial in the office, we want it to be a little flexible. The material is not like as super flexible like the Valplast and the Duraflex, but it is a close runner-up. Um, this is one of the ones that I made. You can see it's pretty flexible. Now when you turn it, that's when it loses um, that ability because they, they are going to test it like this. I'm not going to go too greatly with it, but you can see it's really great for patients who would normally break off these clasps or say we need a really thin area right there to go on the lingual side of the molars. Um, it's nice for that because if we were to put this in like the Denka, it would just fall apart. I've tried it before. It's not strong enough. The Pro 3 is cool, but it's not flexible. So I love these flexible partials. Graphy was one of the worst, one of the worst, one of the first ones to um, come out with it. And now that I've tracked it down, I am in love with it. I use my Denka teeth on there um, just because that's what we have here in the office. I'm hoping soon Graphy will come up with one that the teeth are flexible too because right now they do not have that. So, you know, if we have a a uh, patient with a lot of teeth in the front um, or replacing a lot of teeth in the front and they have all their posteriors, being able to flex, those teeth aren't going to flex. But other than that, I really like it. Um, you can't glaze it, obviously, because it's flexible. The glaze will just crumble and fall off, but it does polish up really nicely. Polishes up very similar to acrylic. Um, and honestly, patients really love it. I've been having a lot of success. The clasp don't warp. They stay around the teeth. Uh, but just the difference in this one is for one, it's brand new to the market. Um, but also once you're done printing, it prints at hundred microns. I'm hoping that it'll print at 50 coming up soon once they work out all the kinks, um, print it. And then you put it in an ultrasonic for 30 seconds, which is really weird because I'm used to washing my prints for like 15 minutes. Ultrasonic 30 seconds. Um, you put the teeth on like we normally would and uh, cure it for an extra five minutes in the Procure because it does need to get that 405 nanometers wavelength, which the Procure 2 doesn't have because we did hack the system using the terahertz and it's not verified by Sprint Ray. But out of the probably five or six patients that I've given these to, we've had a lot of success. Um, elderly individuals that normally like just wouldn't be able to take out a rigid one, people who don't want those metal based partials, this one, Gravity Base, is definitely my number one. So, flexible partials, full dentures, those are my go-tos.